Phoenix, Arizona. This is Emily Hill from Invasive Species News. Today I'm reporting sightings of a new invasive species in our city, the Africanized killer bee, or as scientists like to call it, Epis mellifera scutatella. These bees are similar to honeybees, but they have two distinct features. They are slightly smaller than their counterpart, and they are golden yellow with darker bands of brown. Africanized honeybees are dangerous stinging insects that have been known to chase people for more than a quarter of a mile once they get excited and aggressive. They are an invasive species in the Americas. Now I'm going to pass this on to Samantha, who's currently at the site with a killer bee. Hi, I'm Samantha, and today I'm here with a real-life killer bee. Her name is Claire. So tell me, Claire, how did you guys get here? Our populations first arrived in the Americas in 1956 in Brazil with the intention of crossbreeding our populations with native populations to increase honey production. But a year later, 26 of our queen bees escaped quarantine and flew north into South America, Central America, Mexico, and eventually the U.S. in 1998. Amazing, isn't it? Amazing? That's not the word I would use. Anyways, you mentioned that your colonies were quarantined. Where did y'all live once you escaped? We have small colonies, which pretty much allows us to build nests anywhere we'd want to. Some of my favorite places, though, are boxes, tires, crates, empty cars. Although others aren't as selective as I am, and we'll pretty much build a nest anywhere where there's an empty hole and cavity. Our cousins, though, the European honeybees, like drier places, like three or four feet above ground. Such divas they are. Thank you so much, Killer Bee Claire, for all this helpful information. I'm going to pass it back to Emily. Thank you. That was fun. Now, one thing that hasn't been mentioned by Samantha or the Killer Bee is what these Killer Bees are doing to our economy. The beekeeping industry is heavily affected by the presence of these bees. And these industries will be severely impacted by the honey bee if tight restrictions are placed on the movement and shipment of honey bees. Now, as we close out the segment, I think the most important thing we can discuss is what can we do to help this problem. The first is termed drone flooding, which involves maintaining large numbers of common honey bees originally from Europe in areas where commercially reared queen bees mate. This process would limit the mating possibilities between Africanized drones and European queens. The second strategy is requeening re frequently, where the beekeeper replaces the queen of the colony, thus assuring that the queens are European honeybees and not the Africanized killer bees. Thank y'all so much for watching and stay safe. <laughs>